everybody tonight we are going to make a beer bottle and a branch normally I would make a wine bottle and a larger branch but to make the demo go a little bit faster I thought I'd scale it down and go with something smaller like a beer bottle this one is founders underground mountain brown ale great beer highly recommended so what I'm gonna do is carve away the wood so it looks like this beer bottle is popping out from the branch and it'll be one solid piece of wood. To get started, we look for the pith. It's, if it's relatively close to the center, I like to line it up right on the pith. If it's a little bit off, not a big deal. If it's way off to the side, that works as well. When you work with the branch, you want to make sure the wood is relatively dry. If it's not, it's likely to split a few weeks, a few months after you turn it. You could just call that a feature, live with it, or you could wait until everything is dry and you know it's less likely that it's going to split. To begin, I just put it right on the lathe. Get it lined up. So the first step, I'm gonna round off the bottom edge, put a tent in, flip it around, and put it in a, a chuck so that it's held more securely. And at the end, I can remove the tail stock and drill out a hole in the top of the bottle. Spin the wood, make sure it's not going to catch. And turn the speed down. And let... So just square off the bottom. Okay. Now to cut the tenon inside this little, inside the bottom, I'm going to use a tool that has a specialty grind on it. This corner here will cut a perfect dovetail and allow me to leave some wood on the outside of the bottom. So to make this I just at it. Now I have enough room for the chuck to grab onto it and it'll sit nice and flat on a table. We're ready to flip it around. So I'm using the tailstock to push the block of wood so it gets a good strong registration. And 
tighten it down. All right. And all right. We now have it mounted in the chuck between and between centers. It's good and solid. I want to take my bottle now and just hold it up, get a rough idea of how much wood I want to remove and where I want to have the bottle emerging from this branch. So I'm just going to estimate a point right about here and I can always adjust that later. So I don't forget about it. I'm going to mark it early. I'm going to mark a little bit higher just in case it tears out or I don't get a clean cut. And let's check that. That looks nice and clean. I didn't lose any bark, so I should be able to keep that edge. And it's time to remove some more wood. I'm going to use a different tool. It's a large bedan. It has a slight radius. And I'll rub the bevel. I'll bring this in. And it'll make a nice slicing cut. And it will remove wood quickly. speed, make things go a little bit faster. All right, before we get too far along, we want to take a quick measurement, get roughly the diameter of the bottle. We want to leave a little bit of extra so there's a little bit of play in the calipers which is good. And now when I put it on this tapered part it gives me a good idea of how much wood I need to remove. Get started again. And just peel away a lot of wood. Now you might have noticed I didn't go all the way up to the edge with this tool. It's big, it takes off really big chunks. If I try to go right up to the edge, I might blow this edge out. So I'm going to stop now. I'm going to take another measurement. Nice and close here really important to stop and then just look at the basic shape and take a few measurements. I'm going to hold the bottle and 
just make a little mark. And start to shape the bottle. And for the shaping, I'm using a bowl gouge. It helps to stop and check frequently. All right. I'm going to use the calipers one more time to get the diameter for the top of the bottle. to keep stopping the lathe, I am going to set the bottle right on the ways so I can just look at the wood and the bottle and go back and forth and that would let me get it done a little bit faster. Also a good idea to move the tool rest in a little bit closer. All right, very close on the top. Now, the bottle has a unique shape, and we want to try to match that as close as we can. To do that, I'm just using a small round nose scraper. profile from the top of the bottle. And that's pretty close. it up. You can see how this has a round, a cove, or a bead, a cove, and a, a bead. So I've tried to duplicate that. I can go a little bit deeper, let that stand out a little bit more. easy to remove wood, it's a little bit harder to put it back, so going slow and careful is always a good idea. And that looks better, it's got a nice shape to it. Now I need to blend the tapered neck of the bottle into the part that I just turned. 
I want to take light cuts. And when I'm looking at the neck of the bottle, it has a little bit of a flat right about here. Not much of a taper. And then it transitions into a taper. In order to make that straight and smooth, I'm going to take a negative rig scraper that used to be a skew chisel. And just clean this up, make it straight. has a nice distinct taper to it while I have this tool I'm going to clean up the bottle portion and on this tool I have rolled a burr and that allows for some very fine shavings In order to get this cleaned up, I'll use a larger round nose scraper. I'll turn it on an angle. It'll give me a little more control. And I'm gonna come in and clean up the transition here. Good time to turn off the lathe and see what we have. Now that is really taking shape. We've got this nice profile from the opening. We have a, a taper, but as I look at it, this is too short. I need to bring this transition back a little bit more. And I think we'll be in good shape. So before I work on this, I'm gonna clean up the base or the transition where it goes from the bark edge and then having the bottle emerge. To do this, I'm gonna use a parting tool. Good to take light, thin cuts. Now this wood is a little salted, so it is likely to get some tear out. So the sharper the tool and the lighter the cut, will help to ensure that we have less tear out. Going back to the negative right scraper. Blending it in is a little bit tricky. You can overdo it and then it just doesn't look natural. It pays to go slow and careful on this, this part of the turning. 
So let's look at what we have here. We've got a little bit of tear out because of the, the spalting. The spalting's gone a little too far. So this is something, a little bit of sanding should take most of that out. Now, right, right now we have a sharp transition where it's almost a 90 degree edge. I'm gonna pair off a little bit of wood and show you how to put a small radius. It's a, a cleaner transition or just a different transition. And we'll see how that looks. So do that. And just move that. One, two, cut. And then stop before I get all the way in. To get the small radius, I've taken another parting tool that has a very small radius. And that will help get the radius at the transition point. careful not to cut too deep when you're putting this radius in. Good. And turn off the lathe. See what we have. All right. So let's hold up the bottle. And I need to peel off a little more wood here to make this neck longer. Do that with the scrapers. Get the transition back in. Light cuts. And turn off the lathe. All right. And we'll grab the bottle, hold it up. just a little bit off. I'm going to change this taper just a little bit and then we'll be ready to drill the hole. I'm going to 
angle this so I can get it smoother. Well, hopefully smoother. Huh? There's a knot halfway through this transition and it's a little bit catchy. So I gotta take really light cuts to avoid that. Use the round nose to transition. And hold the bottle up to it again. You need to check often. And I think we're there. So, next step is to drill the hole. In order to do that, I'm going to move some tools out of the way. Remove the live center. Now we're going to do this in two steps. First, I'm going to use this drill bit to start the hole to make sure that it's dead center. And with using this type of a drill, there won't be any wobble. If I use a smaller drill bit, often I put them in and they start to wobble and then the hole is off center. Yeah. Thank you. So let's get this started. Perfect. It's definitely worth taking the time to get a good pilot hole started. If this hole is off center too much, it just doesn't look as good. Now this drill bit has a Morse taper, number two, built into it, and it steps down as well. So it starts smaller, steps up. I could go with a slightly larger drill bit, but because this is spalted wood, uh, I don't want to make this too thin, otherwise it might blow out. So we just get this set, get it close. We're going to turn the speed down a little bit. And just go right in. Very important to clear the chips often. If you don't clear the chips, it will bind up and something is likely to break. So it really pays to be patient with this part. Now you can go as deep as you want. I could keep doing this for a few minutes, but we've got the hole. So I'm going to stop here and we'll take a look at what we have. All right. So right now this hole looks to be a little too small so I'm just going to clean that up with a small scraper to make it look a little bit more realistic and I think I can make it work if I just raise the tool rest a little bit
just going to round this over, clean it up a little bit. Just come in and just remove a little bit of wood. You don't have to go too deep. Just trying to get it close to what the bottle looks like. Now normally I would spend, whether it's 10 minutes or an hour, sanding, getting it perfectly smooth, removing all the little chips, but for the demo purposes, this bottle is done. Now I'm going to remove it, show everybody what it looks like. So now we have a bottle coming out of a branch and it's pretty close. After sanding it would it would lose a little bit of the diameter. Now you can scale this up. You can do it on a large branch and turn a growler. You can do a bottle of wine, any size you want or you could do a small perfume bottle. Any size, doesn't matter. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this demo tonight, and now I'll open it up to questions. Thank you.